Hello, I'm Jody Brenner Ginsburg of Ginsburg Law Offices. Today I want to make it clear about what happens after you settle your workers' compensation case in terms of medical care and specifically. When we speak with our clients prior to ever settling a workers' compensation case, and we include you in every conversation we have about that issue, you're going to be intricately involved in understanding how we value your case, why we put certain values on it, and you are certainly free to ask questions and add to it, and we take everything you have to say into consideration when we talk about settlement. When you do settle your workers' compensation case, and leading up to that, if you were receiving weekly benefit checks for loss of income, those would stop once the settlement's approved by the State Board of Workers' Compensation. And in addition, if you're receiving medical care under workers' compensation, that medical care then becomes your responsibility once the judge approves the settlement. At, obviously, when we talk about settlements, we're going to talk about into the future, how do we evaluate your case, talking about future income benefits, if that's applicable to you, talking about future medical care and what that might entail for you, whether you need a surgery in the future, whether you've had a surgery and need continuing rehabilitation, whether you need more medications, injections, ongoing care in that manner. But what you do need to understand is that once the workers' compensation case is settled and approved by the State Board, that responsibility becomes yours. Those are dealt with in various ways. One exception to that is if we're able to settle your case and leave a period of open medical. In many circumstances in years past, the insurance company would be willing to leave the medical open for a requisite period of time after settlement, it might be three months, six months, or a year. We don't see that very much anymore. They usually want to close down their file and are more likely to pay you money in addition to the lump, uh, with the lump sum included in the lump sum to close out the medical. So when that happens, there's opportunities down the road potentially to get onto Social Security Disability and Medicare, although that's typically at least a two and a half year period of time before you can do that, the 30 month window. We are still wondering how the Affordable Care Act will affect your ability to get coverage um, and deal with a pre-existing workers' comp injury. We know that the pre-existing clauses in the Affordable Care Act are stated that there will not be any, but we're not quite sure how that will be in a workers' compensation realm right now. It's still early to know. Um, and whether or not one could afford to get coverage anyway if you're injured and out of work. So there are lots of things to consider when settling a case, and we are here to guide you through that and advise you accordingly. If you'd like to speak more about it, please do not hesitate to call me at 770-351-0801.